thank you for watching your lbb.tv i'm in los angeles the city of angels and i'm here to create a city guide for you so keep on watching and i hope you like this video we just checked in into the sofitel beverly hills and look how cool this mini rooftop is and the best news they have a pool oh i'm gonna jump in tomorrow we just arrived in LA, we've only been here for an hour and we're going to get the car. We're going to Beverly Hills, do some sightseeing and maybe some celebrity spotting. There we are in Beverly Hills and we're going to this place, it's called Nick's. I'm gonna have a bite. The first food spot that we hit in LA is Nick's and that's on Cannon Drive, it's in Beverly Hills. And there are actually a lot of nice restaurants on this street. Um, and they have a happy hour here at the menu. And the happy hour is not only for the drinks, but also for the food. So we ordered so many dishes because we're hungry and jet lagged. Let's wait for the food. <laughs> this is the food we ordered. The beef skewers, the oysters, the grilled octopus and the Brussels sprouts. And it looks fantastic. Oh my God, this is exactly what we need after a long flight. What I really like is that you see kimchi as a seasoning with a lot of food on the menus nowadays. And I love kimchi, it's the fermented kale and it's spicy. And there's the last dish. It's the lamb pizza. So we're heading back to the hotel because the jet lag is kicking in real hard. I'm sleeping in the car, I'm too tired. Good morning, we're having breakfast at the Sofitel Beverly Hills. I'm having smoked salmon and scrambled eggs. So that's a good start of the day. And after this, we're going to the Hollywood sign. Very excited about that. We're going to the uh, Griffith Park Observatory and from there do a trail to walk to a viewpoint where we can see the Hollywood sign. And then after that, we'll see what we're gonna do. Here we are at the Griffith Observatory and from the parking lot you already have a very cool view on the Hollywood sign. Walking towards the Hollywood sign! I don't know but I have this great feeling of being back in LA. It's such a crazy city and everything is so widespread. I'm happy that we have the car because you definitely need a car if you're here. And look, there's the sign. If you're in LA and you want to go to the Hollywood sign, you have to go to Griffith Park and you can park your car at the observatory and just walk up the main trail. There will be a sign mentioning that Berlin is a sister city of LA and there you have a bench. It's like in a woody, foresty um, little park and they have the best view on the sign and you don't have to walk the whole trail if you don't want to or maybe have little time look so this is the view from the bench that i am sitting on and there's the hollywood sign our second hotel we checked in at mama shelter and we always stay here whenever there's a mama shelter in town and this one in la is really cool i'm gonna film the view for you in just a little bit but look how cool. Oh, there's my boyfriend <laughs> hiding. Look how cool the view is. This for me is like typical LA views on the mountains and the hills. And we're just off Sunset Boulevard. So the next stop is the Getty Center and it's really cool, you go here by train and it's full of art from very classic art to modern art. Let's go inside and see, great architecture as well.
from Santa Monica we drove all the way to Tilpenga and that's a little small town in a canyon and it's like a hippie bohemian style village and um, we're having dinner here it's very romantic it's near a stream and I think they do a lot of weddings here because everyone is doing wedding tastings so maybe if you get inspired but it's really beautiful here at the rooftop of the mama shelter before we go to bed because I have a very terrible jet lag but I couldn't resist the rooftop when we came back to the hotel so. It's 7.30 and I am in the lobby of Mama Shelter to do some work for my book. Very exciting stuff going on and um, well after that we're going for breakfast and to Venice Beach and I think we're also going to Malibu today. So another cool day coming up. But first, work. So this is the restaurant of the Mama Shelter Hotel in Los Angeles. And look how colorful it is. I love it. Day three in LA and we're having lunch at this really nice place. It's called Salt and Cure. Skinny Boulevard, one of the coolest streets in LA and we're going to explore, eat something at Chilina and meet up with one of my friends for drinks afterwards. Next stop of the day is Chilina and that's located on Abbot Kinney and it's a really cool place and we're gonna have a small bite here um, and a drink before we go explore Abbot Kinney Road some more. And this is what we ordered, the grilled broccolini and hamachi crudo. And the pizzas are a must try at Chilina. We're in Malibu and we're going for dinner at this pier. We just checked out of the Mama Shelter Hotel and we're in the Art District in Los Angeles. It's very cool, a lot of street art, very cool places to eat and drink. And we're gonna stroll around for a bit and after that we're going to the Ace Hotel. Also really nice, I think. If you're in LA's Art District looking for some good food, go to Fritzy. Delicious food and a really cool interior design. This is what I ordered at Fritzy, a chicken sandwich and some charred cauliflower. We crossed this place, it's called Worstküche and they have the most amazing flavors of sausage and hot dogs. Here, look at this rattlesnake and rabbit and duck and bacon. And I think Leonard took the duck and bacon, so very curious how that tastes. So the entrance of Worstküche is very small, but behind the counter they have this huge seating area. And this is what that hot dog looks like. It's super warm, so we're at Blacktop Coffee under a roof of leaves. It's really cute. And I have my daily ice latte. It's really good. So get the cold brew here at Blacktop. here to spot some street art of Roa, my favorite street artist but as you can see it's almost all gone because the buildings are up for sale Ooh, this happens to me all the time I had it once when I was in London and I was looking for this huge mural I walked 30 minutes to get there and it was gone it was just vanished but hey and well my addiction for street art 
must be clear because it's 35 degrees outside, it's bloody hot. And I'm here strolling around in the warehouse area of Los Angeles. So I think it's time to go since all the murals are gone anyway. And it's time to check in in the Ace Hotel. And they have this fantastic pool, which is so nice. It's on the rooftop. So I think we should go there and uh, relax a little bit at the pool. And this is our room in the lovely Ace Hotel. Colorful and industrial. And we also have a few, I will film that for you now. And this is the view from the Ace Hotel. Hello, downtown LA. Buenas noches. We are in LA downtown. We checked into the Ace Hotel. We relaxed at the pool today and we're going out for dinner. And since we're in some little Tokyo area, we're going to get some Chinese food, I think. So yeah, no reservations, but we're gonna try to walk in to Peking something restaurant and it should be close to the hotel. So we made it to the Peking Tavern and I totally forgot it's Monday. So it's quite slow here in downtown LA and a lot of restaurants are closed but Peking Tavern has a happy hour so we just ordered all the dumplings on the menu and some Jingjiang beer. I pronounce it not correct, I think. Jingyang? Jingyang? I don't know. Yang and the beer? Yang Jing Yang beer. Yang. And the happy hour is until 10 o'clock, so I think we'll be here for a while. the hipster district of Los Angeles and we're going for breakfast at Squirrel which should be really really good and there's a line waiting for the breakfast so that says something very curious I ordered the squash and chickpea pancake Good things come to an end. I'm back at the airport and I had a great time in Los Angeles. I hope you liked watching this video. If you did, thumbs up and see you in the next city.